Hello everyone, Chaos Bender here, and welcome back to Paper Mario The Origami King. In the previous episode, we defeated the Earth Valumental, and we got some extra firepower. And, well, what, what I'm gonna do now... Oh, oh, oh. Uh, what I mean by firepower... <laughs> what I meant by firepower is that, <laughs> with more HP... Hello? Where is this toad? <laughs> Is that with more HP, uh, we can actually now skip some battles, and we, I believe, deal more damage, which is pretty nice. However, as you can see, uh, it is not going to be effective for every single enemy that we come across. So far, it's just for Goombas, and I missed a hidden blocker right here, which is going to give us a pair of iron boots. And with that, we get 100% of the blocks hit in Overlook Mountain. Um, so let me see if there's a toad that I'm missing just around here, because it looks like my bell was ringing. But I don't see it. So what I'm gonna do is that on my way back, I am going... Hey, nice! I, I, I actually didn't even see that. That was a complete guess. Alright. I think I am missing... And by the way, uh, we're not gonna get 100% of the toads rescued. Because if you remember, we also have to rescue one toad that is caught in the, yellow, in the red streamer. Both in Overlook Mountain and in Picnic Road. So we're gonna have to wait for that, okay? And I am also missing one non-bottomless hole. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make my way back to the top of the mountain, looking for the hole. If I find it, I'm going to let you guys know. But if not, no problem. We're going to have to backtrack. But I'll see you guys in a second just to save some, well, some precious time. Okay, never mind. I was going crazy, but we can only get that non-bottomless hole after we beat the boss of this chapter. So, when we make our way to the top of the mountain, we get to see Olivia do some er some really cute Earth Valumental things one more time. And let's see what happens this time around. And like I said in the previous episode, I am just going to skip this every time we get... Well, I mean, after the first time we see the transformation, even though it's super cute. Alright, shake it like a piece of outdated photographic paper. <laughs> photographic paper? Is it like... You do the Polaroid pictures and then you like shake it to get some color? I love how really, really young people are not gonna get that reference. <laughs> I'm fucking old. No. Alright, and with that... Well, not bad if I say so myself. There we go. Alright, so in our way to the last area of the first chapter. Overlook Tower. And a lot of really artistic paintings around here. Whoa, look at the size of those mushrooms. And that banana. That could be uh, that could feed an army. Wait, there's something off about them, isn't there? Um They're just drawings. Flat as paper. Sorry if I got your mouth watering there, Mario. Yikes! That's one of the biggest holes uh, we've seen, isn't it? It looks like you'll, uh, that you'll need plenty of confetti uh, to fix it up, I'm afraid. Alright, now come in here with your uh, confetti bag full, because I think we pretty much need to empty our pockets of confetti with this one. Alright. And, oh, Hey, you fixed uh, that huge hole. Oh my gosh, that's my brother's face. This one, I could tell was a drawing right away. It's really well done, though. It must have been the same artist who drew the banana and the mushrooms. Wait, that means... Whoever drew this knows my brother. I don't know how, but there's no other explanation. Aha, so we're gonna have to wait and see what that is. Come in here and uh, help these three little cones to save three toads. Not really interested in what they have to say. So this is pretty much like the souvenir store. Uh, at the end of the, of the chapter, you're really not gonna need anything from here. And I believe there's not even like anything to purchase. Uh, I think you can only buy mushrooms if I'm sh Okay, that we'll get to see after market some of those things stop by. I think this only sells you mushrooms. Uh, whatever, whatever, take a look. Yeah, so mu mushroom 3-pack, I believe I have like 4, and that's gonna be pretty much uh, enough for everything we need to do. Uh, there is going to be another toad that we need to rescue right around here in the wall. Pretty cool. And after we do this, I believe... No, I don't think we're done with this 100% in the, uh, with the toads in the first floor. Okay, yeah, there we go. So there is one more if I don't get stuck in here. Uh, Alright. Uh, nice, okay. So we just spin, 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 and that is going to give us a toad. Alright, another ride, whatever. So you can see that there is another toad, and that is going to be the one stuck in the elevator. However, if we try to fix this, well, we're not going to have enough. What the hell do we do? 
Well, <laughs> okay, one funny thing, if you try to pull the toad, no, you're ripping me, there's gotta be a better way. <laughs> the only thing you need to do is just press the button. Ah, that's better. Welcome to Overlook Mountain, uh, to Overlook Tower, Mario. The tower with a gift shop, we are still working on that slogan. And it looks like we've got some major cleaning to do as well. This artwork isn't bad, mind you, but every time I see it, I think of that monster that attacked us. It was horrible. A thin, rattling body with a huge mouth filled with all manner of fangs. You think a monster did this? I don't... I didn't think my brother was friends with monsters, because it has to be someone who knows his face. Well, I know you're scared, but Mario is here now. That means there's nothing to fear, right Mario? Indeed. Alright, so since we do not have any more confetti and there's, uh, I believe, no way to get more. Let me see if I can hit... Oh, there's another toad that we need to help? Let me see. Yep, okay, so what happens if we do this or this? Nope. Um, is there a way to get up there in order to shake those things? And Oh, okay, we can't. Uh, let's see. Ah, okay, so there's the other toad that I was missing. Uh, well, the other three toads that I was missing <laughs> got each other pretty well, whatever. Alright, so now I think that's pretty much it for the toads. Uh, in terms of confetti, I don't think we can do anything at this very moment, but let's go up the elevator to see what we can do. And here comes a really cute moment. <laughs> hey, could you humor me for just a second? <clears throat> Now passing the third floor, cosmetics, handbags, men's slacks, oranges, perfume, and campaign gear. <laughs> I just love how she's like, uh, I think she's gonna say something about, uh, like an elevator voice that she kind of wanted to do. If we go all the way to the top. Next stop, fourth floors. Bicycles, mattresses, formal wear, blenders, and comic books. I know I should speak uh, speak like Olivia, like really cute, but I just kind of can't do it. <laughs> How did I do? I've always wanted to be an elevator operator in one of those fancy department stores. I'm actually not too clear about what a fancy department store is, but it sounds fun, right? Mind if I do the same thing in, uh, in reverse on, on the way down? Oh! God damn it, attacked by f pencils. Colored pencils, that is. Whoa, that was way too close. What are these sticks making us stuck? Oh. I think they've positively ruined my department store fantasy. Unless... Dearest elevator passengers, there will be a slight delay while my friend Mario takes care of this emergency. Psst, do something, Mario. <laughs> we just need to hammer these, I believe, to each. Okay, just one, and that's pretty much it. However, we're gonna have a big problem. <laughs> it is going to go down. So, as you can see, there's something wrong about those pencils. What's that? We'll just have to wait and see. Oh. First floor, absolutely flattened princess. Okay, first floor, absolutely flattened princess, crushed dreams, broken glass, and athletic wear. <laughs> oh, god damn it. Alright, it was a great time for a mandatory battle because we're gonna get enough confetti to fix the stairs. And, well, now we have to go the long way to the top of the... <laughs> I was about to call it a mountain. To, uh, to, to the top of the tower. Alright, do we get enough, please? Nice, okay. So let's see, after we get this, we go to the second floor and see what's in store for us. <laughs> get it, store, because it's, it's like a department store, like Olivia said. <laughs> I'm not funny at all. Okay, so what happens with this the toad in danger, like we have our bell. So there's one stuck in there, and as you can see, there is a little outline for a block that we can actually hit. Oh no, these stairs too, and I can't imagine you have much confetti now. Do you think we can even find confetti here to fix them? Yes, we can. Hey, um, I couldn't help overhearing, and I might be able to help. Something really bad is going on at my restaurant right now. I don't even want to say it out loud. I'm the head chef, but I really don't show my face uh, until it's cleared up. Can you help me take care of the problem? Keep it down uh, low, and I'll make it up to you. Alright, we just do this, get this block, and that is going to be pretty much the only one in the entire Outlook Tower. We do this to rescue a toad, and let's see if it helps. I don't think it can. And he's just gonna say something about being a blue toad and, like, uh, that's a red toad. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Shouldn't be complaining. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Let me make it up to you, and he's gonna give us a nice mushroom. Not mandatory, but if you want 100%, obviously you have to do it. Alright, so, what happens in the restaurant? We'll just have to wait and see. When we enter these wonderful-looking doors... I'm actually kind of hungry now. Alright, 
So far, it looks like everything is quite okay, except for all of the mess. But let's see. Okay, we have a toad. Thanks, Mario. Whatever, just a little tip or anything in the kitchen. Folder, folded soldiers in the kitchen. Let's see what that is all about. If we enter in the kitchen... And if we open the freezer, I guess... <laughs> really tiny Goombas, like cockroaches, are going to invade the... Oh, I didn't know they, they actually uh, hit you. Yeah. Anything? Nice. Okay. So let's see. There are going to be many of these, and there is going to be another toad that I remember just because it was on the trailer. It's like, do you see this egg? It's a toad. Do you see this flower? It's a toad. Everything is a toad. And okay. Goomba, get the fuck off of me. Hello? How do I get it off? I can't? Hello? Okay, that's another one. It's still on me. What? Okay. <laughs> that didn't happen on my first playthrough. It didn't actually get stuck in my body. Or on my body, I guess. Alright, there are many, many toads to rescue here. As you can see, there's another one of this little scale right around here. And there's a Paragoomba looking like a fly that we also need to hit. Alright, this may potentially take a while, but it's really not that bad. Um, in this one, the only one we need to clear out... Well, the only two... Okay, so that's one. And if we do this, there is an, going to be an extra toad. And as you remember from one of the previous episodes, there's something uh, uh, like in my screen that kind of covers something. Took it off to see if there was uh, something hanging out at the top right of the screen, but it looks like that's not the case. Alright, after this, there's going to be this one, and there's another toad crumpled here in the trash can. And after that, I think, I think... That's pretty much it for the... Um, oh, no, 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 as you can see, this is another tip. This is one of those, uh, one more of those Goombas. I believe now we are done with the kitchen, so we can go back. I think your tip is that you are done once the music stops, uh, like uh, being like all chaotic and stuff. So let's see, I am going to get rid of the ones here in the floor. One, two. Okay, perfect. Uh, it looks like there's something else in here. Oh, I could just eat this. Okay, nice. <laughs> Okay, 70 HP. That would have been good to do uh, after being done with the Goombas, but okay. This one is really, really well camouflaged. I think it's the last one that I got, because it was like, hmm, where the hell is this? <clears throat> Alright. So let's see, there's another one just behind the menu right here. Another one hanging around the table. Just wait for him. Oh, god damn it! Come here, you fucking cockroach. Annoying little shits. Alright, we do this, and I believe the last one is this one right over here. Is that it? I think so, because the chaotic music actually stopped. Let's see, this place is slightly messier than usual. I think that's it, so let's go ahead and talk to the, to the Chef Toad to see if that did it. Alright, I believe... let's see, we're gonna do one more floor, because I think the next one doesn't really have too much to do. And then we're gonna cut the episode 4. Uh, the pre for our preparations for the boss fight. I don't think the plan anymore. You did it. All right So that actually counts as a toad saved pretty nice, and he's going to give us a big big uh, fat bag of confetti All right, so we do not have a hundred percent toads which pretty much means there are some more that we need to save maybe in some other parts of the tower and Okay, nice, so even though we don't actually fill everything up you can see that because we don't have any source of confetti, it doesn't matter, and as long as you empty your bag... Ooh! Uh, okay, I should potentially... Let's see, do I end things here? Yeah, alright. So let's see. Um, kind of a weird place to end this, but we don't really have a lot more to do. Other than the boss battle and just a couple more things. So that's gonna do it for this episode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day. I'll see you then.